Good morning, and welcome to Bumblebee Junction. Alright, hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I am up here on the front porch because it is time to do an update. And um, yeah, hold on to your hats. Okay, gonna get started here. Just a little, little bit of information. Now these are the cucumber plants that we put in the hanging pots out here on the front porch. Now if you remember, these are the ones that are self-watering. And yeah, to say that they have done very well is you know, an understatement. But there are a few things I want to show you, and I'm going to have to take the camera off the tripod. So hold on, and I'll be right back. Okay, going to start off with looking down the front porch here. This is the view from outside of the porch. Those are the first three. Oh. Got to get to the other side of this big bush here. There are the other three. Yeah, we did make a couple of changes. I'll get back up on the porch, back in the shade, and um, show you the changes that we made up close. But, yeah, that is what they look like from the front yard. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to notice is that there are now four wires here. Now this is a different heavier gauge wire. Um, I believe Mark said it was a solid copper core wire in about the 14 gauge range. Which is considerably thicker than this. This is the wire that we used before and it's just an aluminum fence wire definitely see the size difference on it but we did originally have one of these that Mark put up and it did not take very long before they went absolutely crazy and yeah we had to take this down Mark went through and put four more wires in here in this heavier gauge wire and we it took us a while and um, Mark did all of the really tall parts because I can't get up there of course but we went through and we took all of the plants off the one strand and went through and retied them onto these four now it it took a couple of hours and yeah it was gonna be Mark's project and he was gonna do all of it because I couldn't bring myself to pull the plants back down off the wire that they were on but once he got started and yeah I kind of got over that a little bit I did try to help out but this was definitely Mark's project Mark's idea and he did the majority of the work on this and every nail is spaced I think there's six inches between them um yeah we were originally thinking maybe two wires, but once he got going, he decided, you know, he could probably need a lot more than that even, so. Yeah. Um, do you want to show you a couple other things? Let me go ahead and take the camera off the tripod again, and we'll get in here real close and show you a couple of really neat things. Okay. Over the years, we have really, really enjoyed having the hanging pots out on the front porch. And we have, um, so let's see, we started out with twine, but it didn't stand up very well, and by the end of the season, it was just ragged and falling apart. It did what we wanted it to, but, yeah, the wire works a lot better, and the fact that he went through and put this heavier gray wire in here is so, so much better, but... Cucumber plants are fascinating. Um, when they first start putting out, let me show you up here. When they first start putting the little tendrils out, they are very, very soft and delicate. And by the time they come out and start grabbing on, they are 
really solid. Yeah, I'll show you a few examples when, as we go down through these. Um, the way they like to like to grab on in there, but. There are so many little tiny cucumbers in here. They make really cute little curly cues, but there's a few examples in here of just exactly how well those work. I think there's a couple down here in particular. They will really just grab on really tight, and when we had to come through and move them all off of the other wire and off of each other, we had to be kind of careful. Yeah, these are really, really soft. They're only just on the very tip here. But, like I said, we had to come through and we had to cut a few of those. There's a few that we cut. And everywhere we could wrap them back up, they're really easy to get back on the wire. But they will definitely wrap themselves up very very well they attach to everything themselves Let's see how well they they do that it was a little heartbreaking to come through and have to cut a few of them to get them up here but we did use some really loose wire ties yeah it's actually there's no wire in it i had originally wanted wire ties but this is just a really easy plastic and we put them on very, very loosely. But I'm going to show you a couple of things here. We do have some really big cucumbers already on these plants. Sneak around the pot over here and show you how big that one is. Now one thing to remember, I have let these stay on here just a little bit too long. But as soon as you get, let's see there's another giant one back there. As soon as you get mature cucumbers on your plant, you need to start picking them off because it will signal to the plant that they're done. So I need to get these as soon as possible off of here. But you can... Oh, we have a little friend up here. Let's see if I can get him right there. Not exactly sure what he is, but he is a little camera shy. Okay, back to cucumbers. The one thing that I absolutely love, let me see if I can find a really good spot to show you. All right. Every base of the leaf nodes are where the blooms are. You can see it on the ends of all of them in there. Sorry, I gotta get my fingers up here where my camera is actually looking, but you look down through, just step back just a little bit, you can see that every spot that the plant puts out a leaf or a branch is where the blooms are and where the little cucumbers will form, the little tiny ones. Yeah, I think the whole thing is just absolutely fascinating, but, oh, got a little one here. See if I can't get him wrapped around there a little bit. But cucumbers are one of one of our favorite, especially the app out here on the front porch, and we've done it for for years now. But I think this trellis system has got to be the most intricate that we've done. And it looks so nice, and they're so happy. And they look really pretty from this side. They look even better from the yard side. We have all the leaves out there facing out towards the sun. But, yeah. Absolutely huge, huge cucumbers. And lots and lots of little tiny ones. So we'll go down and check the other side too. Hold on. Okay, we're starting down here on the other end. There's the tower full of cucumbers. And we have standing pots still full of cucumbers too. But the more you look at them, the more you can see the little tiny cucumbers all over. 
Yeah, we are going to be up to our eyeballs very, very soon. But don't want to handle them too much, but did want to come down here and show you. Yeah. And that one is trying to escape. I'm going to have to get that a little tie and tie him back across there. But it didn't take them very long once we had them tied back up here. They went crazy again and... And we really do enjoy these self-watering buckets, too. But, yeah. Oh, I should have brought you down here and showed you these. Because that's a really good example of seeing the blooms at the base of every one of the leaves. Yeah. And we have a whole lot of bees that like to come out here. And they have been doing their best to get everybody pollinated. Yeah, there's even way back out in there. I know it might not be exciting to, to everybody, but this has always been one of our favorite little projects out here on the front porch. And we've had the opportunity this year to take it a bit further. And yeah, these guys really, really enjoy all of those extra wires. So that is That is for certain. Okay, that's about all I've got for today. Um, I could probably go on for another half an hour talking about cucumber plants. I think Mark's idea and the way he hung all these was just absolutely perfect. And they love them. They're still, yeah, they're still growing and reaching out. We're going to have to kind of tease them back a little bit, but... Yeah, I think he did a great job, and I really think that, that they enjoy it quite a bit. But, hold on. Yeah, first pick. Really nice. Um, probably should have got to him a day or two ago, but really, really happy for lots of fresh cucumbers. And it's not going to be very long, and we're going to be up to our eyeballs and cucumbers. So, probably be looking in the, the near future for a few um, wonderful straight-out-of-the-garden recipes. Do have a couple of things that I really enjoy doing with them. And I'm also married to a man who is addicted to fresh pickles. So, all of that being said, um, absolutely tickled about the self-watering pots. And the whole trellis idea I, I just yeah it's amazing from like when I showed you the, the shot from out in the yard when I come home when I drive down the driveway it's just looks like a wall of, of leaves and I really 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 enjoy it but yes I have absolutely talked your ear off about cucumbers there are other things out in the garden that I need to get to so I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here um if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that little bell. It'll let you know when I have um, a little something to talk too much about. Uh, anyway, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything at all in your mind, please leave them in the little box below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Yeah. We are expecting more rain today, and it is awful humid, and yeah. Got a few other things I need to get to. Did promise I'd go ahead and let you get on out of here. But thank you for spending a few moments of your day with me today. And don't forget, we love you and we'll see you in the next one.